What's up guys? Crazy VR here. Feels so good to finally say Crazy VR. Um, and today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 news. Um, if you hear the noise in the background, I have my window open. I'm sorry about that, um, but it's hot in my room. So anyway, um, about the gameplay real quick. It's just the end of the first side and all of the second side of the domination gameplay on core where I'm using the ARX. Um, I started out with an ASM1 and started doing really bad. So I just pulled out the ARX and I started doing really good. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, I end up going off and getting in a lot of streaks. So, yeah, um, I just included the, the end of the first side because it's when I started my streak that I go on on the second side. So, anyway, today's topic is Black Ops Three news. And um, first off, first and foremost, panic knifing. Panic knifing is gone. Thank God. Um, everybody's excited about that, I think. Anybody who's heard that news is excited about that. Um, and what they're doing is they're doing more of a Halo style thing where instead, of, if you guys have never played Halo, you, most of you probably have because most people who play first person shooters like Call of Duty have played at least some Halo. So anyway, um, it's when you hit the knife button, you're going to hit with the butt of your gun and it's going to be two hit kill. Um, now there's still going to be a combat knife in the game. So that's going to, if you run around with that, it's one hit. But then, if you have that out, the reason for that is it's not spontaneous. It's not like something that, that you're doing to save your own life. It's something you're doing because you want to be knifing. You don't want to, you're not trying to stay alive, basically. Which I'm really excited about because I know, I know I get panic knifed so much on streaks. And it pisses me off, Picks, pisses a bunch of people off who are trying to get gameplays and stuff like that. So I am extremely thrilled about that. Um, and another thing is console exclusivity and Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, so console exclusivity is what I'll talk about first. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, that means like uh, DLCs, Xbox gets, gets DLCs a month before. Um, Xbox gets, I think Xbox gets updates a little bit before too. I'm not sure though, don't quote me on that. Um, and it, it, Xbox is always branded in the trailers, like, like, uh, at the end of Advanced Warfare's trailer and the end of Black Ops 2's trailer and stuff like that, it said, uh, gameplay brought to you by Xbox. Um, so, that's not, and we haven't seen any of that for Black Ops 3, so, maybe, and we've seen a lot of Sony tweeting about it, which they don't usually do, so, uh, I'm thinking either Sony got the deal, or it's what they call a mutual deal, which is when they both have that deal. Um, I'm excited for it either way. I don't, I really don't care. I think kind, I think Sony kind of deserves it, and the Sony players kind of deserve the month before. Um, but if if they were willing to work out a mutual deal, I'm happy with that too. Um, now I play on the Xbox One, so I'd prefer the mutual deal, but whatever. Um, and then. And the next thing is Xbox 360 and PS3. It doesn't sound like the game's coming out on there, uh, which actually shocked me. I thought this would maybe be the last game coming out on there. I thought Black Ops 3, they would release it on the last gen and then, um, and then like promote moving to the current, the next gen, and then stop making the game. And I, I hope it kind of doesn't like transfer over for every game, like. Uh, I know a lot of games are starting to do it, like Mortal Kombat X, um, Evolve, they weren't released on Xbox 360, at least I'm pretty sure about Evolve, I know for a fact Mortal Kombat X wasn't. Um, so I'm hoping that's not something that, that keeps going on, I'm hoping they still make some games, um, but I don't think it will, I think it's, I think it's going to be how it's going to start going now, um, they're not really going to make new games for it, but um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this commentary, guys. Comment what you were excited to see in Black Ops 3. Uh, and comment if you'd want me, to, want me to bring more of these news-type videos to you guys, or if you'd want to if you prefer me stick to my normal commentaries and let the other YouTubers do the, the news stuff. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Crazy VR, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.